Ever seen a crustacean that walks like a heavyweight boxer and waves living pom-poms like it's leading a halftime show? Meet the pom-pom crab, also called the boxer crab, nature's tiniest fighter with the flashiest gear on the reef. Today we're diving headfirst into how these thumbnail-sized crustaceans convinced sea anemones to moonlight as electroshock gloves. Why scientists call that real deal tool use, and what brand new research is revealing about their private lives. By the end, I promise you'll be cheering for the boxer crab too, and if there's another marine oddball you want in the spotlight, just punch it in the comments down below. Alrighty, gloves up, let's dive right in. Tiny crustacean? Check. Jazz hands on steroids? Double check. A built-in taser system? Triple check. The pom-pom crab proves you don't need size to steal every scene. Just unmatched swagger and two living lightning bolts for fists. First, who exactly are these boxing beauties? They sit in the family Xanthidae, the same broad family that includes plenty of rubble-dwelling reef crabs, inside a sliver of that family called Polydectinae. The real stars are eight species in the genus Libya. The one you'll spot most on social feeds is Libya tessellata, sporting a honeycomb mosaic of caramel, cream, and lavender tiles on its shell. Its slightly fluffier Hawaiian cousin, Libya edmonsini, rocks deeper reds and whites, while the feathery-legged Libya plumosa looks like it's wearing fuzzy socks. Where do they hang out? Indo-Pacific reefs from the Red Sea to Hawaii, usually tucked into crevices of rubble zones between 1 and maybe 20 meters down. They're the night owls of the reef, way more active once the sun dips and plankton starts snowing through the water column. Now, a boxer's gotta have some gloves. Look at those claws. Evolution has carved them into delicate forceps, perfect for cradling an anemone. Terrible for pinching anything else. Strength sacrifice for specialization. The live gloves themselves are usually the little anemone, Triactus producta. Picture a miniature version of the stinging flowers you see on a clownfish reef, but shrunk to the size of a sesame seed. The pom-pom crab either nicks one from the reef or straight up steals it from its neighbor. Then, no joke, tears it neatly in half so each claw gets a matching pom-pom. Instant accessory set. And because sea anemones can regenerate like nobody's business, each half just grows into a fully functional mini anemone again. It's DIY cloning meets high fashion reef culture. Why bother? Three payoffs. One, defense. The anemone's nematocysts fire microscopic harpoons packed with venom. Any curious fish gets zapped long before it can swallow the crab. Two, offense. Those tentacles snag plankton right out of the current and the crab usually swipes the captured snacks. Imagine walking around wielding a pair of taco making robots that hand you food all day. Three, street cred. Underwater photographers, snorkelers, tiktokers, you name it, can't resist filming something that looks like a crustacean cheerleader at Mardi Gras. The anemone isn't just a passive victim, by the way. Rolling through the reef on crab taxis keeps it off sand that could smother it, ups its feeding rate, and research in 2022 showed that hosted anemones actually grow faster than free-living ones thanks to constant food scraps and quicker currents. Mutualism at its sparkliest. But how does a love story like that even start? Well, let's talk family life. When boxer crab romance is in the air, males wave those pom-poms like a neon bouquet. Think peacock display, but the feathers might knock you out. If the female is impressed, they carefully lock claws. Remember, each partner is holding live stingers, and the male passes a packet of sperm called a spermatophore. Mom tucks fertilized eggs under her abdomen in a neat purple berry cluster. She then fans them with swimming legs until they hatch as minuscule zoea larvae. Those larvae drift around the plankton buffet for weeks before settling onto the substrate, metamorphosing into crablets. Then comes the high stakes rite of passage. Acquire two anemones or become fish food. No pressure kiddos. Evolutionary ninjas sometimes leave bizarre footprints, and boxer crabs are one of them. Molecular dating suggests the pom-pom lineage split from other xanthid crabs around 50 million years ago. Probably as predators on bustling Eocene reefs cranked the arms race up to 11. While decorator crabs started gluing sponges on their backs, boxer crabs said nah, handheld biotech is way cooler. They're now one of the clearest invertebrate examples of tool use. 
wielding a different species as a weapon and a utensil. Fun fact time! Here are some quick reef gossip nuggets to drop at parties. In Hawaii, locals call them Komimi Pua, which translates to inedible flower crab. Accurate, you do not want stinging tentacles anywhere near your sashimi plate. In the early 1900s, naturalists described the crab's habit of splitting anemones as bonsai gardening with poison. That's a horticultural hobby I can respect. When two boxer crabs fight over turf, they wave the pom-poms and bluff displays like swordsmen clashing sabers, yet rarely land an actual sting. It's all about intimidation, trash talk without permanent injuries. A 2023 lab study clocked their sprint speed at six body lengths per second when startled. For a creature smaller than your pinky nail, that's like Usain Bolt crossing the 50 meter mark before you even stand up. New research frontiers? Scientists are now using high-speed cameras, 20,000 frames per second if you're geeking out, to measure the exact arc and angular velocity of those anemone jabs. At their fastest, a pom-pom sweep covers 80 degrees and 5 hundredths of a second. Blink and you'll miss the taser punch. And get this, marine biotechnologists are exploring whether the crab's natural clone your own anemone trick could help with coral reef restoration. If we can adapt that cellular regrowth to propagate threatened anemone or coral species quickly, crab fashion might inspire conservation tools. Tiny crustaceans, big ideas. Of course, boxer crabs aren't invincible. They share their anemone's weakness to heat. Strong marine heat waves can bleach many anemones like their bigger cousins, leaving a crab literally disarmed and hangry. Add microplastics to the mix, Lab data hint those bits can mess with crustacean metabolism and navigation, and you could end up with confused crabs waving around plastic confetti. Aquarium trade note. Wild collection is small scale but very localized. If you must keep a pom-pom crab at home, look for captive bred stock, and remember they need peaceful tank mates and a constant buffet of meaty microfoods. Otherwise, your shrimp may become unintended cheer sticks. All right, gloves down, here's the final bell. The pom-pom crab is a pocket-sized prize fighter, gardener, and fashion icon rolled into one. It packs venom it doesn't even produce, shows off a symbiosis so tight it borders on sci-fi weaponry, and still finds time to wave hello to the camera. If you enjoyed this deep dive, flex that thumb muscle on the like button, slap subscribe for weekly sea nerd adventures, and tell me in the comments what marine oddball deserves the next spotlight. Until then, keep exploring, keep protecting, and remember, on a coral reef, even the smaller boxer can throw out a knockout punch. Thanks for watching All Things Marine Life.